Well, welcome to our carol service, which is in a different format, as with so much of the rest of the term. Here we are in chapel, and we're filming this carol service in order to be able to stream it to everybody. And what a term it's been. Absolutely extraordinary. But here we are on the last day of the long autumn term. Thank you so much, everyone, for all you've given to make it a really thoroughly enjoyable and fulfilling, successful and rewarding term. And now we're all ready to go on holiday to prepare for and thoroughly enjoy the celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. So now, thank you and enjoy it all. And now enjoy, please, our carol service. Beloved in Christ, as we approach this Christmas tide, let it be our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels, and in heart and mind to go to Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us read in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. But first let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace on earth and goodwill among all his people, for unity and fellowship within the church he came to build and especially in this our Diocese of Portsmouth. And because this would rejoice his heart, let us remember in his name the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or have grieved his heart of love. 
Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the Word made flesh, and with whom in the Lord Jesus we are one for evermore. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 3. The man and his wife heard the sound of Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from Lord God among the trees in the garden. But Lord God called to the man. Where are you? he asked. I heard the sound of you in the garden, he, he replied. I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Who told you that you were naked? he asked. Have you been eating from the tree I forbade you to eat? The man replied, It was the woman you put with me. She gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Then Lord God said to the woman, Why did you do that? The woman replied, The snake tempted me, and I ate. Then Lord God said to the snake, Because you have done this, a curse be you of all animals wild and tame. On your belly you will go, and on dust you will feed. As long as you live, I shall put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. It will bruise your head, and you will strike its heel.
reading from the prophet Isaiah. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. On the inhabitants of a country, in shadow dark as death, light has blazed forth. For a son has been born for us, a son has been given to us, and dominion has been laid on his shoulders. And this is the name he has been given, Wonder Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. To extend his dominion in boundless peace over the throne of David and over his kingdom. To make it secure and sustain it in fair judgment and integrity. From this time onwards and forever, the love of God will do this. A reading from the Gospel of St. Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, you who enjoy God's favour, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, 
Do not be afraid. You have won God's favour. Look, you are to conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I have no knowledge of man? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. So the child will be holy, and you will call him the Son of God.
A reading from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 2. Now it happened that at this time Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be made of the whole world. This census, the first, took place while Quirinius was the governor of Syria, and everyone went to be registered, each to his own town. So Joseph set out from the town of Nazareth in Galilee for Judea, to David's town called Bethlehem, since he was of David's house and line, in order to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. Now it happened that while they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Let us offer our bidding prayers. As we continue to prepare for Jesus' birthday, we pray for a spirit of renewal and a deepening of our faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the leaders of our churches, especially for Pope Francis, that through their work they may continue to spread the good news of our Saviour. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For Christians throughout the world, that they may share the joy of this holy season and rejoice in the light of faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for everyone gathered within the fold of our school. May our Saviour's birth fill us with a greater desire to lead lives worthy of our calling. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who are ill, those who mourn, and those who suffer because of violence and injustice. May the gift of our Saviour, the Prince of Peace, be a sign of hope to them all. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Bless the children who pass through the Children's Hospital in Southampton. As we pray for the Murray Parish Trust, and pray for all those who are held in care and love within the communities of L'Arche. And for all who receive gifts in our care homes in Andover and through the Andover Food Bank. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. 
Bless our parish church of St. John the Baptist and our parish priest, Father Austin. And may our celebration of the birth of Jesus be an occasion for renewed hope. May our joy and our witness bring the good news of salvation to the whole world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We offer these and all our prayers through the intercession of Mary, our Mother, whose openness to God's plan allowed the Saviour of the world to become man and dwell among us. And so we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, and the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours when Christmas comes, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be yours now and forever. Amen. Amen.